Hank Brule here, yet again with the Daily Rock. Tonight, I'm sitting with Cataclysm. And here's JF. How's it going, man? Good. Good. So, okay, first off, I need to congratulate you for your most commercially successful album to date, correct? With uh, Heaven's Venom. Um, so, with a band that's been around for over 20 years now, you're on the Heat Seekers chart for Billboard as one of the new artists. What's your mindset as far as being thrown into a new artist category after being a very successful, very popular band for more than two decades now? Yeah, to be honest, like, I mean, we're just proud of like still being alive and being like relevant to, to this musical scene. Like, 20 years later is just amazing, but in itself, like every year we're like, like, doing another record, we're keep on keeping on doing our thing, and it's just amazing to see like. Like from an album to another, we're still in there, relevant to some sort of scene, and still having like fans following us around. Like from some from the beginning, some new ones joining every every year. Like it's great because we see like in the touring and at the concerts, we see like still like more old school people coming in, and and a lot of young kids like. 14, 15, never heard the band before, and they're like, oh, you guys are amazing, and they think it's our first album, but they look down <laughs> a little bit on the internet, and they're like, oh, wow, you guys have like 10 records. There's a lot of history and homework to <laughs> yeah, do. Yeah. Cool. But it's amazing to, to see it's it's like still like a, a 14 year old would be like still amazed to see us play, and it's great. And uh, your worldwide presence has been growing as well. Um, I've been hearing uh, rumors touring Asia. Yeah, yeah, we have like a, some new continents like they, they actually asking for like details like if it would be possible to book us and like like Asia, a lot of the like South Africa and Israel, like all those new places we have never been before. They are all showing interest. Like even Tunisia, we had an offer before like the the whole thing happened. We were about to to go there and then. Now, like, yeah, the government is telling us maybe not the safest place to go in right now, but, like, we'll wait a little bit and then maybe go, like, in a year or two or if things are more stable. Think a world tour is on the horizon, then? Yeah. You know, you personally, you have a lot of other side projects and mm -hmm. you're handling a lot of other musical investments. Mm -hmm. um, what makes you keep coming back to Cataclysm in the end when you could clearly just go with any of these other very viable projects? I mean, for us, it's where our, our arts are in. Like, it's we, we started this band in high school and out of nothing, just as uh, any other guy would start a band, like, or any other kids would start a band in high school, and that's what basically we did. And got very lucky with record deals and stuff like that. Got put on the right tours, and we've just been doing our thing since since then. And uh, it's like. It's where our art belongs. I mean, if ever any other project would take off, I, I would for sure invest my time. I, I'm a musician. I love playing music. I love doing this lifestyle, touring, and and work on music. I think for me, my favorite part of it is writing the music and work on, on it. But it's nice to see like uh, something that you built from the ground up doing good. And, and for me, I'll as long as cataclysm has like life into it, I'll. I'll push it more because it's my my little baby I've been doing this for more than half my life with, with with the boys as well I know them like longer than most people I know in my life except for my family so um, yeah so we're always keep pushing cataclysm I'm sure so cataclysm is home yeah cool your favorite part is writing what inspires you to write and do you have any sort of set environment that you need to write in? Are you one who writes when you're on the road, when you're at home, napkins, notebooks? I kind of like writing on my own. Like, and for some reason, like, I'll, I'll drink like, a few glasses of wine and it'll put me in the right mood. And, like, I'm by myself, just turn on the, the computer and like, I record pretty much everything I write. So I'll just start and play like a whole day of just me playing on my own. And, then just, I'll just leave it on the computer and come back to it a week later and listen to what I did and, and then pick pick up the parts that I think are pretty interesting and then like start molding a song with that. Cool. That's pretty much how I do it. Then Stefan does it on, on his own too a lot because he's got like a home studio too. So they'll write parts and then when we start having song skeleton then all of us coming together and we work together as a team to, to finish those songs. Sounds like a pretty organic process for the yeah. most part. We're pretty spontaneous. It's like yeah, we never really spend like 
months on a song like we'll we'll yeah. you know, we'll go like we'll, when we're into it we'll write it and sometimes like the, the best song we have like came out like, came out like in a, a day or, or two and we're like oh yeah this is perfect cool um, and so so that you still after all these years have all that excitement of just creating everything mm -hmm. from scratch awesome um, talk to me about uh, Heaven's Venom a little bit what is this venom from heaven meaning. it's not really it doesn't have anything to do with religion there's a lot of people think that because of the cover art or something like yeah. that's mostly like um, every time like you, you things are going right your, your life is doing well there's always something that comes and like mess things up or someone or some, like some event happened like an X factor yeah, yeah that comes and, and creates this chaos and, and you have to deal with it no like and it's pretty much what it is. Like it's just about like conquering your your problems and your your demons and just facing like the facing the facts. Basically, you just go and that's pretty much what this record is about. So even paradise has its troubles. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and uh, the imagery with the snake mm -hmm. and the head. Explain that a little bit. Uh, it was like it was it was pretty hard to come up with that idea to explain that concept like on a cover art. Yeah. But uh, we wanted the beast in there, and we wanted like a, and then, uh, the artist came up with the idea of like heaven and like it's like the beast and like it's like yeah, conquering everything and and, <laughs> and that's like uh, how we came up with the concept and we saw it. We we're like, ah, this is pretty cool and works for the record. Perfect. It's kind of like a duality of man sort of thing. Or? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And. Um, with you guys touring and your different projects and whatnot, do you ever get tired? Do you ever get tired of the whole thing? I mean, like, it's our life. Like that's what we do. Like, I, I love. I still love it. Twenty years down the line, and we were all excited about it. We, we tour like a, we toured a lot last year, especially with the XD on Cataclysm. We, we flip flop for, from one band to another. Yeah. The whole year, and we stay on the road, but. No, I, I don't get bored. I, I get homesick. Some, like sometimes I'll I, I'll miss being home with my friends and stuff. But otherwise, like I, I still love it. After 20 years and after and all the shows and all the different projects, how do you keep bringing the energy to the stage? I think it's just a matter of like you, if you love what you do, you just go out and do it. Like you'll you'll have the energy. Just comes. And you're like, even though some nights were like super tired, you're in the bus, like I, you don't want to go out there and entertain people and do this. But as soon as like the first song starts, like the energy comes back and you're like, when you see the, the crowd driving you, it's like, you just get it back right away and you go in there and do it. Awesome. All right then. Well, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Great chatting with you. Hank Pro with The Daily Rock. We're out.